and welcome to the inside of the camper. So I've shot a bunch of vlogs on this specific model and why I went with it, but in this one, I'm just gonna talk about some of the little custom modifications and accessories that I've added. So first up, on the edge of the bed, I've always wanted a table. One thing when you're sleeping up here, you don't really have a place to put your phone. And so I got this guy, this is called a sidekick. Just clamps onto this piece right here via one, two, three little attachments. Super simple and works great. So right when you come in the camper, at least on a shell model, you've got a little storage bins right here. I always keep my garbage bag right here. Previously, I had these little stick-on hooks. They were great, except when the garbage got too heavy, a lot of times they would actually pull the hooks off. Or if you were driving and you left the bag attached, the hook would actually pull off. So I just got a couple of these guys. These are little just over-the-cabinet metal hooks, and they fit right over this thing. That's what I hang. The garbage off, I've, I've got like five of these actually, so I, I could string them up along here, depending on what else I need just to hang, if anything. So then you come right here, use paper towels a lot in here, mainly for doing dishes and stuff. So I wanted a paper towel roll holder. And so this guy just screws into the wall with two little screws, fits paper towel, roll perfectly. One little trick that I found. So when you're driving and stuff, this thing will just kind of come loose and before too long, you'll have like three feet of paper towel just hanging. Took, uh, took a hair tie, just put it over like that and it keeps it totally secure and in place. And then if we go over to the mirror here, two, these are just uh, suction cup little hooks that you can just hang stuff on. All right, now we go down to the side here. On all these campers, there's four USB ports right here, so you can plug in and power stuff. One thing I've got is this light bar right here. So right when I jump into the camper, if it's dark, I just tap this button, I can turn this light on. It allows me to pop up the camper and not have it be totally dark in here. And this is a, a magnetic deal, so it just pops on there and it's uh, USB rechargeable. So when it's low on battery, I just plug it in to right there. And as we come in over here, this is called a lagoon table. What makes this thing so cool is that it's it's totally movable and kind of set it up for whatever your needs are. So I've got it mounted on this side of the camper right here, which is right next to my plugs. Uh, primarily, I, I was like, oh, if I'm editing on my computer, I wanna have it right there so that it's right next to my power plugs. But say I wanna adjust this thing to where like say I'm eating dinner, one person could sit there, one person could sit here. And the last customization on the inside is glow in the dark stars. When you shut the lights off in here, the ceiling looks epic. <laughs> and on the outside of the camper, so I could have gotten the big hydraulic jacks that you would put these down with, um, but I've never taken my camper actually off, so I opted out of the jacks. I can get them if I needed, um, and they just mount right here. But, so right here I get this big metal plate with these three little holes in it. I strung some paracord through here, and then I took some little little metal S-hooks and I basically clamped them onto this paracord and then I wrapped some tape around them. So now I can hang things on the outside of the camper. So that was just a quick little run through some of the customizations that I made to the camper. I've spent over 100 nights in it and definitely have minimal space inside the camper and so anything you can do to kind of add storage options slash places to hang stuff is super handy.